Hey guys, very good morning to all of you. Welcome to the video number 524. My name is Ajay Pamar and you're watching youtube.com slash C slash Ajay Kumar Pamar. I welcome all of you and today we are going to talk something very exciting and the reason is that because we are again going to talk about the Outlook VBA. It's not the Excel VBA, it's not the Access VBA, it is the Outlook VBA which is the new topic we have started guys right which is a new playlist you'll find on my channel if you're watching the channel you know this video for the first time or maybe recently you have just hooked around this you know channel then guys i must tell you you are actually landed up on the right platform you're landed up on the right channel because we have got here all the you know, these 524 videos on excel excel vba access access vba and very recently i will add the outlook vba also here because that is also the another series we have started where you will start learning the outlook vba how to control the things from the outlook and there are already four videos uploaded in this uh, playlist if you go and uh, see that you know the outlook vba uh, tutorials that's the playlist name you'll find the four videos where you where we learn that how to write the outlook vba in the outlook window in the outlook vba editor how to write the codes and how to in fact you know uh, write uh, connect the ms access with the outlook and ms excel with the outlook right so the uh, anyways uh, apart from that if you are interested in learning excel excel vba access access vba please go and follow the sequence this is the playlist sequence and these are all my playlists which i have created in a sequence for you so that when you go and search you know when you want to start your learning you should go and pick up the videos pick up the videos uh, playlist in the sequence so let's go and uh, talk about today's so in this video now what i want to tell you is uh, i remember this uh, the, the particular thing you know uh, uh, when i was working um, uh, there were some specific emails which we used to send to our clients you know and then what happened uh, during that uh, specific period there were a lot of emails which were coming uh, you know to us and uh, stating that this id needs to be added make sure you should add this client make sure you remove this client because you know a lot of uh, the the people were moving from different department to the different department so every time when we used to send the emails it 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 used to happen that you know sometimes we uh, we uh, forgot to add that new recipient sometimes we forgot to remove that recipient and then you know there were a lot of you know the escalations used to come so every guy you know in our team used to have those uh, those sticky notes you know uh, pasted on their de desktop that when you're going to send this email make sure this is not going to be a part of it this id should be a part of it you know all that blah blah stuff right but unfortunately at that point in time i was not uh, uh, you know aware about the uh, outlook vpa right so today that is what i'm gonna show you um, we, you can use in uh, you know in your different way that's all up to you but you should understand the concept now what actually we are going to talk about this uh, in this video is whenever you send any email so you know that when you send the email what happens you write here somebody let's say i'm just going to send this email to my id and you write here subject and you write in the cc you know let's say a lot of recipients right so all people who want who you want to add right now the point is when you send this email right if, if i just send this email you know it it is just directly going to you know uh, it is going to be sent from my this email right if i say send anyway right but instead of this what we want is let us go and give the information the prompt to the user not the information but maybe a soft warning have you added this id or have you not have you removed this id you know sort of that and the immediately the prompt comes and if i can, if i have added or removed those ids you know like i can say i can say that yes I, i good to go i just click on the yes and if it is not then i can you know i i can immediately say no don't send this email and the email is going to be stopped so this is what we are going to learn extremely useful isn't it <laughs> right so let's go to the developer tab so the first thing is when you go to the outlook visual basic what you need to do is you need to go to the this outlook session if you are familiar to my channel if you have watched my previous outlook series videos then you know what i'm talking about but still i'll brief you uh, when you go to the this outlook session from here you need to select the application guys now when you select the app you know outlook application a macro will fall you know in your this window this is uh, something which we call as the events right now what do you mean by this now if you look at this this says application underscore item sent now what does that mean well 
you can see here a lot of lot of you know the items uh, the events there's a event called advanced search complete advanced search stopped you know and all that so we will cover them you know one by one uh, right now i have covered actually this new mail ex so you can go and watch my previous videos now i'm actually talking about this item send when you select this item send this is what you get to see here right so guys what is this this is your event event means that whenever the email you're going to send this macro will automatically fire right so you don't have to press anywhere no shortcut key you need to run or you don't have to run this macro you know coming to the visual basic you can simply go ahead and just when you draft the email when you send the email this macro will run so what we want to do here so these are so events are actually the self-triggered macros right they run themselves basis the condition you provide so if i'm writing any code inside this guys you know let's say just for your information just you know to give you the clarity let's say i put here in a, a message box called hello right the moment i send this email look at this guys i go to the home tab i click on the new email and you just write here something and then you let's say just write here test and i just click on the send now look at this the moment you ask, you know click on the same this event will fire before your email goes from here exciting very fantastic right now the email has gone and the code ran and you know everything happens in seconds isn't it now this is what i'm gonna talk about today very interesting now and you can see that the email has also come now we don't need actually the message box obviously now as i was telling you you can put the message box here so let's go ahead and just quickly write here that let's say my message as string so you can go and write here that my message equals to you can put the message box this is the vb message box right so you can put here the message box and you can write here that let's say we want to say that have you removed so i can say that have you removed right let's say any id maybe let's say i just write here x.outlook.com right so this is the i mean sort of the message box we can you can write and then press the comma and then go to the next parameter which is buttons so which sort of buttons we need so i actually need the button called yes and no because i want to give the user option two options only that yes i have removed so click on the yes and the email is going to you know it's it, it's going to be sent if I click no, no, I just didn't remove it. So I can click on the no button. And if I click on the no button, you know, my email should not go. That is what, you know, the beauty of this program. So you're gonna make sure you write the VB yes, no, all right? So I just go, you can choose other uh, buttons as well. That's all up to you. I, I really can't comment on your specific requirement, but I'm just gonna, you know, write like that. And in the title, uh, I just write here, read me carefully, okay? So this is what I, I i just write and rest i don't need anything right so now when you run this code this message box will come now understand guys very important thing you see when you uh, when i selected this item send this macro automatically came with this name you know i didn't write this name right now here we have a parameter called cancel and one parameter called item now item refers to the email which you are sending right and the cancel refers to your basically this the explorer you know the active inspector we call it the moment the, when you when you're going to hit on the you know the new so this is we call it actually the inspector you know active inspector so if you want that this should disappear you can say that the cancel has to be true because you don't want to send the email so the cancel has to be true if you want that the email should go and i have removed the you know that the uh, email address uh, which which i was supposed to then you can put this cancel as you know the false and that is why you see that when the vb created this event it's considered as cancel as boolean do you know that what does that boolean means guys this is one of the data types in uh, vba we use boolean actually means that your variable is good if you declare any boolean any variable as boolean let's say i write uh, dim i as boolean for example like this you know now uh, this is uh, exactly you know the uh, just like the other data types which you use like integer byte you know long single double string you know so boolean is also one of the data types uh, boolean means that if you write uh, dim i as a dim i as boolean that means i can hold only two values true or false right 
no integer no number no alpha uh, numeric no text nothing right boolean means true and false so that's why we're going to write here that you know we will put the condition here that if my message box equals to you know vb yes this means that if user ha if user is going to click on the yes button then what should happen then some something should happen so we'll write here do something and if that yes is not there then obviously that means it is going to be no so you can write here else then do something we'll just write the code here first of all let's see understand the code so and if right so this is your code now if you if you see the item we don't need the item here because we are not uh, really want to see that what basically the email we are sending we only want to see that in the email you know uh, if we have added that item or uh, the email or have removed that should you know be perfect so guys i go and put the break code here first of all so that we can see step by step right and now here in this do something so if you have the this pop-up coming have you removed this item and you say that yes i have removed it so what does that mean that means the email should go right mm -hmm. so here you're gonna write this cancel equals to false right now remember this cancel is a vba word I'm, I'm talking about this parameter now so this cancel has to be false if this cancel is has to be false that means the email is not is email is going to be sent because you're not canceling it right if the user says that no i just you know do not want to do that so maybe you can go here and you can write here that then please cancel this so let's just make that cancel parameter as true right good to go so can we check that so i i, I just write here let's say you know and if this is my email id and uh, i just write here something let's say uh outlook code let's say i click on the send now now you see that the moment I click on the send because we have put the break code here so the program will stop here. It will not allow you to move forward until you come here and press F8. Now if I just run this you can see that if I hover my mouse on the item parameter it clearly says that your our email is you know the outlook code. So it refers to that. Maybe we can use this. Uh, in you know in in any of the other projects right i do not know right now because i'm not really here to talk about how to use this subject line but i'm here basically to talk about the cancel so cancel you can see by default it is going to be on the false mode now the prompt will come guys so user this prompt you will see in every email whenever you send the email remember that right if you want to make it specific that you know the prompt should come only if the email has this subject line or you know if it is being sent to these ids then that's a diff different you know uh, the, uh, the program uh, we can talk about that in the coming videos but right now it is applicable for all the emails you're going to send now have you removed the outlook dot com i mean this id x dot outlook and yes i know that i have removed it so i'm just gonna hit on the yes yes i have removed it all right so now because you have clicked on the yes so this message box is going to give you the number called six right now remember number six means vb yes you can also write here six it's so these all buttons which you write vb yes vb no you know these all buttons actually have some numbers given right you can go and check my video uh, the playlist excel message box and the input box i had talked about there right uh, about these message boxes numbers or you can also do one thing you can just simply select this and you can press f1 right it is going to take you to the vba help and the moment you're going to be on the vba the window will come and it will tell you about all these you know the numbers you can see that right now if i have a uh, this says vbs no equals to false so you can also guys write here for you know a number that's all up to you what do you want to do but i prefer writing you know this as a string so that we can see at, at least what it refers to because remembering the numbers you know uh, by their button uh, buttons uh, order it's very difficult so i really don't want to remember these numbers instead i can directly write vbs and no right so anyways uh, so this is how it is so if my message box is going to be equals to yes then what i'm doing i'm gonna make this cancel parameter as false so the moment the cancel is gonna be you know uh, recorded as false and the moment your macro will finish you see that guys the email is disappeared 
right so is it disappeared or is it actually sent and that is why you you know you don't see it so we can quickly go to the sent item and i can show you here that whether the email is coming here or not and you can see that email actually is sent guys this is the same email which we drafted which we actually you know uh, sent right so the email is gone right and you must be seeing this email all right so there we go you can also see that email is coming now let's say now what i do I again draft one more email and let's say I write this uh, another code. Now guys, again I forward this email, right? So now what will happen when I click on the send and this e event will again run. So I go and press F8. Now let us say I say no. I haven't removed it. So please don't do not send this email, right? Let me just remove that. So I click on the no. Now when you click on the no, this F will take you to the else mode. You see that because the no button has a number called seven. So you can also write the seven as I was telling you. Anyways, uh, if it is not VBS, then it must be no. So what we are now going to do, we are going to make sure that this cancel should be true, which means we want this mail to be canceled. And the moment the macro runs, look at this guys, beautiful. Your email did not go from here. It is still showing you there. This is really a very, very great option, guys. And obviously, when you remove the break code from here, everything will happen in seconds. So I'm going to click on the send and you see that you see it, the prompt comes. Have you removed the outlook? Uh, no, I haven't. You see the email is still there. And just then you go and remove that ID from here. And then again, hit on this and say, yes, have you removed? Yes, I have. Look at this. The email, you know, is gone. So I wish that I could know this option, you know, when I was working in the MS department. Trust me. This would have made my life very easy and this would have saved a lot of escalations which we used to get that morning time when there was a lot of, you know, uh, uh, the the movements, you know, were going and the people were shuffling from one department to the another and every day we used to get like three, four emails, uh, you know, uh, remove this person, add this person and <laughs> everything was like hodgepodge. Well, anyways, um, I hope this is going to help you a lot and you can take the further, you know, help from this and you can further go and create something your own. And if, if you if you go and use this Outlook VBA code, please don't forget to share it with me. I'll go and upload the video on the same. So thank you so much uh, for your time. And I hope you'll subscribe to the channel and have fun here. Have all the learning because when I started this channel, guys, two years back, I had a name that I want to make you awesome in all the four subjects, Excel, Excel, VBA, Access, Access, VBA. But as the time is going, you know, as the time is passing with you guys, I'm also learning the things like we have started the Outlook VBA. So hope. Uh, you'll have fun and I'll see you my, you know, very soon in my next video. Thank you.